Welcome back to another episode of Coffee with Cabinet here at Donkey Coffee and Espresso in Athens, Ohio. I'm here with the VP of External Relations, Ryan Sexton. How are you doing today? Great, how are you? Fantastic. It's uh, really nice to have quasi-warm weather back again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, tell me a little bit about uh, like yourself and how you were, how, like, how long you've been in the Yeah, so I'm a sophomore. I'm mm-hmm. from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, marketing, doing a marketing sports management majors, um, and so how I got into the shave was just first semester freshman year. I wanted to get involved in something, wanted to sort of you know make my impact at OU in some way, and I found the Shea. Um, got involved right away, and then ended up um, becoming a director of first impressions after my first semester in the program, um, which is a really cool opportunity to sort of get my foot in the door in terms of with partners and, and meeting new people and doing that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so that was totally different in terms of I know I wasn't a very outgoing person at the time. I was kind of nervous. And so just going out there and just, you know, having fun with that, like just getting to meet all these new people and just yeah. sort of put myself out there in different ways that I wasn't used to um, was, was really, really great for me. Um, and then that transitioned me, you know, through my hard work there to, to being where I am now, VP. Yeah, absolutely. So what 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 is being the VP of External Relations? Media? Yeah. So uh, I manage four directors. Mm-hmm. Um, so director of partner relations, which deals with our account manager team, um, director of executive mentorship, um, which is like our mentor program that we have. Um, our director of first impressions, my old position, and then um, the director of alumni relations. So that's more dealing with like our alumni, is obviously in the name. Yeah. Um, and so you know these four directors are a lot more like outward facing. You know we're doing a lot more with um, people that aren't necessarily in the program as much, which is kind of cool because it gives people real life experience with how the real world's going to work, and you get to you know make those connections and build your network by just doing your job. Yeah. So. So they kind of work with not only partners, but like also like students that aren't already in the show. Exactly. Cool. So I so I always thought that it was just like partners. I didn't realize that it was like two that there were like two parts to that. Mm-hmm. That's really neat. So um, what's some like what's different compared to being a director on first impressions versus now? Uh, it's a little more stress. <laughs> um, <laughs> a little more stress. I mean, at least got that. Yeah. Got that honest answer. <laughs> Just a little bit. Um, no, I think it's it's been really cool to to see myself sort of change my leadership style that I was mm-hmm. used to. You know, director of first impressions. It's very. Um, you know, you're very focused on yourself um, in a way in terms of you know, you're managing your team, but it's very behind the scenes. You're not really making an impact on people. And, you know, now going to being the VP, it's a lot more outward facing. And I am, you know, being involved with more people and seeing more things than I'm mm-hmm. used to. Um, and I'm having a lot more responsibility than I did as a director. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I love it because, you know, for me, um, it's really helped me, me grow. You know, having four directors that are honestly very, very different people um, and just having to say, how do I cater my leadership style to each individual person and make them successful? And then, you know, looking at, you know, our team as a whole, how do we make everyone together successful? Yeah, no, that's really awesome. So, um, <clears throat> sorry, do you have any fun, like, funny or, like, memorable moments as VP? Um, yeah, no. So there was, so we have our weekly CAC class. Um, yeah. And... So I had an internship phone call um, during one of the classes, so I wasn't going to be there. And so I told mm-hmm. my team, you know, hey guys, you know, make sure you work on your goals, get everything done during class, like let's get it all done. And uh, I came late to class, and then I found out that while I was gone, my four directors had planned a contingency plan for like if I just died or didn't come <laughs> back as VP, like who was taking over, where the power was going, and like how I could just easily be replaced at a moment's notice. And I was like, this is just great. Like, You're like, perfect, thanks yeah. guys. No. <laughs> it makes me feel really good about my job. Um, but no, it, it was funny because I came back and they had like a sheet planned out and like everything that was going on. It was like, who's taking over power? Who's taking over which like goal set off? Yeah. And it was just like, I was just like, okay, guess this is how it's going. <laughs> You're like, maybe uh, maybe you guys don't need me. No? <laughs> like, was, was, this a, was this a sign? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I good for now? <laughs> so um, how can people kind of get like, get involved on your team yeah so external relations is an interesting part in terms of like how you can get involved in different teams so mm-hmm. our account manager team um you know i think we're gonna be hiring some people in the fall um honestly could be wrong don't really know for sure um but we should be hiring some people in the fall and that's more dealing with uh, a more selective process so that'll be um you do a written application do a phone interview and usually like an in-person interview mm-hmm. um because we really do like to have people that are really representing the program well um in terms of just you know, they're emailing partners every single week. They're doing phone calls to partners all the time. They're constantly in the face of our program. Um, so that's something that people can get involved with, but right now I think our team currently stands about 10 to 12 people. Um, so it's not the most like super open program. Mm-hmm. Um, the flip side of that, First Impressions team um, is a team that you know I obviously ran, and so that's more dealing with uh, potential partners for the program. So when Greg brings someone new to campus, we're in charge of meeting with them and giving the student perspective of the Shea, uh, which is pretty cool because you see both sides of you know how it works in terms yeah. of like pitching them on why they should come to the Shea, and then also saying like, 
to Greg, I don't know if they should be in the shed. You know, like working on that and seeing the side of like what do we really want to see as students. Yeah. Um, so that's a team that we really do like to have a, a broader um, scope of like who can be involved because we like to represent everyone that's in the Shea. Um, and then executive mentorship as well. Everyone can join that. And that's a really, really cool program that connects our alumni with everyone. Um, you know, for me, like all the possibilities I've had, you know, this year, especially like getting outside and building my network has been through the executive mentorship program. Um, so, you know, it just got off the ground. We yeah. just rebranded it. We just did all this new stuff. Um, but like if we have 100 people go for it, we'll have 100 alumni come in. You know, and that's one of the cool things that I really think that people don't take advantage of right now is, you know, this executive mentorship program is a huge way to build your network and actually, you know, make an impact outside mm -hmm. of your four years here in college. And, you know, it just comes free through shit. You know, you yeah. spend a half hour a month just making a phone call and it can change everything. Yeah. Um, so that's really cool. Alumni relations doesn't really have a lot going on in terms of like building a team. Uh, but the three positions, it's very different in terms of the involvement levels. But, um, you know, getting involved in all three can be possible. And I think they're really beneficial. Yeah, that's really cool. So you kind of talked about rebranding um, the executive mentorship um, program. Can you kind of explain that like rebranding process and kind of like what like what it was to what it is now and what the differences are? Yeah, no, it was <laughs> it was a process. <laughs> it was uh, a big one, a, a big process. Yeah, no, it was it was really um, rewarding and very fulfilling. I think I can say that for both Parker and myself. Um, and, you know, it was just something that, you know, we got the program. It was assigned to me um, when I took over as VP. It wasn't normally in external relations. Mm -hmm. um, and I just decided, like, we just wanted to do something different with it. We wanted to take what we had. It was a good program and just sort of say, you know, let's just completely change it and just make it what we want. Let's make it something that we would love and that we actually really care about. Um, so that's where Parker and I were like, all right, let's change the name. Let's change everything about it. So now we have executive mentorship. Um, which, which really isn't too much different other than the fact that it's just a shorter program now. Yeah. It used to be a year-long program, which you know, honestly posed some problems in terms of you know, people just can't always communicate every month or they want to, you know, sometimes you lose a little bit of that connection or you just don't have a lot to talk about. So now as a shortened program, it's about five or it's about four months. Um, and so you know, with this shortened program now, you get to build these connections, build your network quicker. And then if you want to continue the relationship, you can, or also you can find more people and keep building your network while still maintaining the current relationship. Yeah. You know, so we're just working to help build our students and our alumni and really help them to see the full, you know, effects of the Shea, like what yeah. we really have to offer here. Yeah, no, that's really cool. Um, I know that like that was something that I didn't get involved with um, when I was a um, new hire. Mm -hmm. And um, like, well, coaching candidate was what it was, right? Yeah, it was still used to be coaching candidate. Yeah, um, and that was something that I, like, I thought it was always interesting that the Shea offered such a wide variety of um, like opportunities for students to kind of just like build like you're right like build that yeah. network and build that connection um and with the new rebrand i bet it's gonna be awesome <laughs> yeah. like i'm really excited to see where it goes we're, we're very excited about it um you know i think it's just about getting it off the ground right now which is Ooh. the same thing as all new programs like you just got to get people into it and like see what the real benefits are yeah so we think this shorter program will really help keep students engaged for you know, sure. because part of the things that we saw is a lot of high turnover with coaching candidate so in terms of students would join and be like i don't like this and leave and it's like here they're really seeing the benefits like during quick, this program yeah. like it's really quick it's going to be there um and you know we're going to start trying to be more hands-on with it in terms of accountability stuff so it's gonna be a lot of fun i think both the experience from the alumni side and the student side is gonna be a lot a lot better yeah that's really awesome so what are kind of like your goals as um excuse me as as the vp over like i like with with your whole team like like just like a large overarching goal yeah i think the biggest goal for me was just to um leave this division in a better place than i found it mm -hmm. you know my year's done um, you know, I always believe just like constantly finding ways to improve and find ways to change things in a positive way. Um, and, you know, like my VP before me, Colleen Allen, was absolutely phenomenal in her job. She killed it. Um, it was like huge shoes to fill for me. And that's something that I still see a lot is, you know, like that's a big role to fill. Yeah. Um, but I think it was just about, you know, creating an environment where, you know, all four of my directors felt like they could totally succeed in any way possible and also, you know, do what they wanted, you know find ways to change, which everyone has, which has been, you know, a lot for me yeah. uh, in terms of, you know, dealing with pros and stuff. But it's been really cool to see how each position's changed based on each director. Um, you know, Austin, just looking at like my position from last year and first impressions, Austin's already done a lot more with rebuilding the training manual and trying to get people more involved in different events. You know, we did a philanthropy and first impressions collaboration event. Oh, that's cool. And it was like, I never even thought about doing something like that. And yeah. so, you know, finding different little changes like that is what really makes me proud because, you know, 
I think it's awesome to you know do your own thing as VP and you know have your own stamp. But for me, I think it's more rewarding when you see your, your directors having their own stamp and, mm-hmm. and really how they influence their positions. Um, you know, like I love all four of my directors. They're amazing people and they do so much good things for this program. Um, so that's been the coolest thing for me is to be able to say those kind of things and just yeah. go out there and say, you know, they really are changing you know what we had before. Mm-hmm. And so I think that's kind of fulfilling my goal, and I hope, you know, for the next semester that we can keep doing that and we don't just kind of get complacent and we're constantly just pushing the box, even if it doesn't necessarily work. Yeah. You know, what can we do to keep finding ways to change and finding cool things to do that, you know, may end up being very helpful for the program? Yeah, for sure. So kind of like, you know, because you kind of talked about the fall, what, do you, what is your team going to do over the summer to kind of prep? Yeah, so um, it's going to be a little bit of a busy summer. Um, so with our partner relations team, you know, Nicole has been working very, very hard this year to create a lot of change with that, and it's been awesome to see um, in terms of our account manager culture changing and, you know, just a lot of cool things going on there. Mm-hmm. Um, so one of the cool new things that she's going to be implementing this summer with her account manager team is partner phone calls. Oh, nice. um, so actually contacting partners and trying to find out more about, like, what they're doing over the summer, like how do we keep improving our program, just sort of, like, create a better relationship between the recruiters and our actual account managers, hoping to really make them want to come back to campus more to recruit more of our students, you know, yeah. just keep that um, going. Um, so that's going to be a lot of work trying to make sure that everything's on board with that. Um, you know, and so that's going to be a lot of bit of chaos there trying to implement this new program, but I think yeah. it's going to be really helpful. Um, our first executive mentorship season um, will kick off soon. Um, so Parker will be working on that all summer in terms of uh, you know, actually monitoring the calls, make sure everything's going okay, and then making sure it doesn't fall apart before you get back to school. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> we don't we don't need that. Yeah. We need to unravel before. No. <laughs> um, and then for alumni relations, it's going to be really cool. Um, you know, we're uh, going to be getting a new alumni chair mm-hmm. soon, so Natalie will be working very very closely with him um, to try and make sure that you know the the alumni society and our alumni program, you know, here at school are very aligned and making sure that, you know, we are creating a lot of new change because now, now that we have this whole new ideals and new things, we got to make sure that everyone's all um, like linked up. Yeah. If that makes sense. Um, so that's going to be kind of interesting to see how we sort of play on that because I think there's a lot of new ideas that we're sort of floating around in terms of engaging students with alumni. Um, and I'm honestly very, very excited to see where that kind of stuff could go. Um, and then finally, awesome first impressions, just trying to find ways to, you know, build the team over the summer yeah um, you know we've talked about a lot of different things in terms of professionally developing the team by just sending emails or you know working on um not necessarily doing phone calls but finding different ways to just talk to them over the summer and uh, make sure that our team is still top notch yeah for sure that's really awesome so how do you guys um implement sales then because you kind of talked about you know like 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 buy-in and, and such but how would be like, like how how what, what is the most obvious way that you guys are utilizing sales yeah no i think external is really cool because it really does show a lot of the different ways that mm. um sales is implemented in shea you know when you look at our um partner relationship team i like to think of them as a lot of ways with like maintaining relationships because you know like that's you're keeping them right like, yeah that's our account manager the sole point of contact um, other than Greg Scott for our partners, you yeah. know, um, so it's kind of cool to see them and, and, you know, know that, you know, they're getting real life experience out here, maintaining these relationships, building it and making sure that our program still has these great partners. Um, and then, you know, actually bringing partners in, that's more first impression side. You know, mm-hmm. as I said before, it's a lot about, um, you know, bringing them in and making them see the value we have in Shea students. And then also for us as Shea students seeing, you know, what's going on here like what is this relationship going to be you know because that's something that you know I love that we stress here in Shea is about yeah. sales is more relationship based it's not about just making the sale and going it's about how do you make a sale and then build a relationship and build something that actually like people care about mm-hmm. and when they're um, working on this this partnership it's something that values both sides um, so that's kind of cool for first impressions people to see because yeah. um, you really get to understand you know how that start of a sale works um, and then executive mentorship it's about I think it goes back to partner relations, you know, maintaining, you know, um, in terms of, you know, there are people, a lot of our partners that are in our executive mentorship program. And so, you know, for them, we got to make sure they're happy too, in terms of, you know, how are they still impacting our program? How do they want to come back to campus? You know, once they're re-engaged, they'll be like, wow, I want to come see this person at campus. So that brings them back and helps, you know, increase the activity in our program. Yeah, for sure. And that's really awesome because I, I would have never thought that it would have been like the whole sales process pretty much in like one department, <laughs> but like from start to finish, if you guys want to, if you guys want, if you guys want a quick uh, sales sales education class, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Just join the, join the partner relations team. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's a, I think our division is just very unique in terms of how it all works because mm-hmm. it's stuff that um, honestly can be kind of stressful because yeah. everything that we do has a loophole or has some like 
hoop you have to jump through to get yeah. it approved because you know we are dealing with just so high level people you mm-hmm. know with our partners and stuff like that um you know it's like if nicole wants to you know just write an email it's gotta go through like three people yeah um so it, it's a little tedious at times but it's cool to see the process and know that yeah. you know that's how it is in a workplace and knowing that you know, this is real life experience that we're gonna have to get getting stuff approved getting it going to people and making sure that um you know everything we do is the best work of our abilities and I love that. I love that my team um, has had a really dedicated approach to making sure that like what we're doing makes an impact. And mm. it's something that you know they know that there's so many you know hoops to jump through that they're going to focus on like this is going to be our best work from day one, yeah. and then we don't have to worry about like it coming back because it won't. It's going to be so good that we're going to go right through. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so that's what I love. And, you know, like it's, it's just been really rewarding for me. And I keep bringing it up like just having the directors that I mm-hmm. do that have just been really helpful for me and uh, making sure that you know we're on top into what we're doing and just keep yeah. being better no that's really awesome thank you so much for being here I really yeah, appreciate it thank you yeah and thank you guys for watching Coffee with Cabinet